Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Football Manager 2016 with Milan, potentially the final game. If this is indeed part 55 of 70, then I'm going to look like a right idiot. Uh, however, this is the Italian Cup final, it's against Spezia, um, final game of the season. Could we do a double? Ignore this profit and loss, it seems to uh, fluctuate. I just want to point out, um, you may notice it's fluctuated quite a lot throughout the season. Uh, I don't know why. But that will, of course, jump up. In case you don't know, it will jump up at the end. I just wanted to address that. Anyway, how have we got on since uh, we last played uh, live comp? That was, of course, against Atalanta. Uh, we've had one defeat, one draw, one win. And that went to the win. It was against Perugia, uh, who we unfortunately relegated after this. Mania with two goals. Uh, got a draw against Frosinone and then a defeat against Cesena. I did um, rotate the team quite a bit, however. And once again, it was the more senior players letting the team down. Uh, with the likes of Guzan, Menez, uh, Mania, Pastore, I say Mania. Well, he is senior, I suppose, Pastore. You know, but you had the likes of Gotti, Odd Sheik, um, playing quite well. Baumgartel, you know, playing well. So, yeah, a bit frustrating, really. But never mind, it didn't really matter. It was a dead rubber, anyway. And, in fact, they were fighting to survive. And with that victory, they stayed up miraculously. Uh, Catania went down. So, um, yeah, I do feel as if I have a hand in that unfortunately sorry Catania um, nevertheless that's what you get for beating me I think or whatever it was a while ago did they beat us well they did something to us was it a draw I can't say anyway it was somewhere they did something to us at some point which frustrated me anyway we have the Italian Cup Finals so Spezia finishing uh, 19th only 9 wins all season one of them was indeed against us however that was a real rotated team uh, I will be playing pretty much a full strength team here, and this is it, what we're going to go with. Donnarumma, Calabria, Stones, Mangala, De Siglio, Fabinho, Old Sheik, Mari, Pastore, Alex Teixeira, and who's this? Stephen Eze, or Easy. Um, basically, he I signed him in the winter, and he has actually been unable to play for us in the league because he's already played for two um, teams already. He already played for uh, HNK over here, and then had already played for Frosinone and been absolutely remarkable. And so I thought, OK, I'm going to sign him. Oh, yeah, he can't play until next season. <laughs> there is a league, in, uh, there, is a, there is a rule in Serie A which says no player can play for two, play more than, for, I'll start that one again, can play for more than two teams uh, in one season. So that's what's happened there. But however, it, he, it does mean he can play in the Italian Cup final and I can't think of a better way for him to make his debut. It's going to go horribly wrong, isn't it? It doesn't matter. Uh, we have um, Menez, we have Aubameyang, and we have Gotti, and we have Mane all on the bench. Uh, Baka has been an absolute disgrace this season. He scored one goal in eight starts, and he's had 11 appearances off the bench. He's just one goal. It's pathetic. Uh, Ferry and Emmanuelson are injured, unfortunately. Menez um, has completely lost there as well. Kennedy was never really good enough. He's, had, he's got a transfer arranged. Five and, a half, five and a quarter mil to Colne. I know I've lost money on him. I thought it was worth a go, but quite frankly, he's been terrible. There you go. Uh, Aubameyang and Mania, that obviously is a call on if anything goes wrong. Mania with 13 goals, he's done really well. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Let's get straight into the game then. Let's see what we can do. Let's see, who have they got playing? Nelson Oliveira is playing for them. So that, that is the danger man straight away. There's a Lewandowski. A Polish goalkeeper called Lewandowski. That's quite funny. It must be a common name I can only assume in... Poland. Uh, okay, I think that's everything. Let's get to it. So I'm hoping Stephen. I'm, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm going to say Etze or Eze. I'm going to say Eze. Uh, I hope he'll have a good game. I really do hope he has a good game. If if he has a poor game, I'm going to look like a right idiot. But he is a wonder kid. He has been banging him in the reserves. He was for, for a, well, by the time I signed him, he was the top goal scorer in the league. I just want to make that very clear. He was absolutely smashing them in. Uh, in uh, Serie A from over, uh, oh that's 1-0 <laughs> he was smashing him in for Frosinone there I'll finish my sentence Mangala with a flick on and he just has this knack of scoring big goals Alakim Mangala he's just so good at that it's either him or Stones really uh, Teixeira with the assist and that's a fantastic start so hopefully we'll have a little bit more <laughs> highlights this time compared to the, uh, the other commentary I think it was the last video which was the At Atalanta game which was absolutely terrible <laughs> I, again, I am so sorry for that. I can't help it, you know, if that's the way the game goes. But again, 
we don't have too many highlights. We've got the one highlight with the one goal. And I'd say is not he's got probably the weakest rating so far. I'm gonna stick with him. We'll see. Uh, maybe he might pop up in a moment. Better in mind, if he does score, it will be a debut goal. So I'm hopeful. Here's Calabria now with a nice ball by Teixeira. And Calabria, as you expect, to dress past one. He dressed past two. And there he is. Steven Etze. Debut goal. What did I tell you? His ridiculous hairstyle doesn't defy uh, the fact that he's just scored a debut goal for AC Milan in a cup final. How fantastic is that? And, uh, well, I, I, re I mean, I mentioned this a long time ago, but really, did we ever expect to lose this? Yes, I lost to Spezia in the league with a severely, not depleted team, but a rotated team, certainly, uh, because we had, it was not an official fish, fixture congestion, <laughs> but uh, certainly a very uh, strong one. But here it is. It's been simple. They've not turned up, and... There is a part of me that wishes they were making a better game of this, but at the same time, I really just want to win. <laughs> so, I ain't complaining. We've had four shots off target, which is a little bit concerning. I, I do like how I've given him his debut, and I'm probably going to bugger off after this. And it's like I won't be able to see him grow into one of the world's best strikers. Same with Donnarumma, who incidentally I think was voted um, in goalkeeper of the year, or will be, at least. He was in the team of the year. We had, to, in fact, our entire back line was virtually voted. And I think it was, it was the goalkeeper. It was all four defenders and two defensive midfielders. So it was Mari and I think Bonaventura, which I thought was very funny. Right, we're going to bring on, uh, we're going to bring on Bonaventura. I think actually, because why not? Because we can basically. Yeah, the Spezia have offered absolutely nothing. It's not really been much. Again, we've had the two highlights resulting in two goals, and we're just going to. Bring on the human victory cigar, Samuel Igotti, for Alex Teixeira. And that will do it. I uh, don't really need to make any more substitutions. It's been a walk in the park. Please don't tell me <laughs> I've just brought on the human victory cigar and they go and score. Please don't do this game. Please. They've offered nothing all game. One shot they've had. Thank goodness for that. Ooh, that's it. He's on a yellow card. Is Migalori. And I think that might be him. Off, indeed. He's been booked. And red card, there you go. Oh, dear. Well, I kind of... Not the greatest way in the world to end. Well, I think it's been a really good series. Overall successful. Hopefully entertaining. I know certainly the last few games have been, or at least the Arsenal game was very entertaining. Not this one or the Atlanta game, but that happens. And I think we are just going to see these last 20 seconds out, so... Um, thank you for watching. <laughs> I'll just get it out there now whilst uh, whilst this plays out. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please like the video. <laughs> and uh, three cheers for Stephen Etze, who is still going. And that is going to do it. Then 2 0. Didn't even break a sweat. Goal for the young Nigerian wonder kid on his debut. I wonder if anyone, I wonder if anyone has actually ever made their debut in a cup final and scored. There you go. There is the double once again. And I wonder, let's see, am I an AC Milan icon yet, or a legend or something? No. Oh, Calabria is a legend now, I've just noticed. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Davide Calabria, AC Milan legend. He's only 23. <laughs> Blooming hell, I've never... Wow, I think that might actually be the earliest, uh, uh, the youngest legend I've ever seen. Yeah, I'm still not one. I suppose I wouldn't be, really. To be a legend at this club, you have to really go some. Calabria has, so it's a credit to him, really. So there we go. We've got all the usual news guff here. Again, Calabria, you know, just an outstanding performance again. Nine rating. He is just so good. Yeah, I look at players like that and go, why would I want to leave? <laughs> so uh, Teixeira sets a new record. That's five assists in the Italian Cup. Uh, average attendance still down from full capacity, but I'm not too disappointed about that. Here's the best overall 11 since I've been here. Which now makes a lot more sense, I think. Who's on the bench? Lopez, Murillo, Calabria, De Jong, Ramos, Fabinho, and Menteke. Okay. Here are, ooh, okay, your end of season awards. Davide Calabria, man of the year, or player of the year, sorry, 50%. Bonaventura on 27% in second, and then Jose Mari in third. Signing of the season, Alex Teixeira, 
and young player of the season as expected as well. Davide Calabrese, still only 23 years old. He's an AC Milan legend. He's just absolutely wonderful. Let's take a look as well at the goal of the season from the captain, no less. Uh, he didn't even start this game, apparently, which is quite funny. Uh, against Udinese, I love this goal. It was just the technique. I, was, I just love his little touch of the ball, the way he bends it as well. I just think this is fantastic. Right, here's Daily Blind on the ball, switches it to Abate. Oh, in fact, he puts it with the outside of his foot. I thought he cut inside and bent it. Uh, with like a, as a curler, but no, apparently no. He hits it with the outside of his foot. You see, he didn't get that in 2D. That's one of the positives. So, let's see. Match of the season was, of course, the victory. The 4-1 victory over Juventus, which was absolutely wonderful. 28 players used. Lost in the quarterfinals to Arsenal, but what can you do? Uh, here's how the final looks. It's going to be Bayern versus Arsenal. Yes, Arsenal knocked out Paris Saint-Germain. Um, Emery Chan got himself sent off. But that, that uh, goal at the Emirates was proving to be enough. And uh, Bayern knocked out Man United. End of season confidence, everyone's very happy. End of season, yeah, we knew that. Um, that's quite disappointing about Gotti there. And Guzan, but there you go. Once again, goalkeepers are too injury prone for me. Uh, obviously, certain players will be leaving. The likes, I think, Baka will probably be leaving. Blazikowski's leaving. Kennedy's going to be leaving. Possibly Menez and Manuelson will be. Um... And I think that is everything. So thank you very much for watching then. Uh, as I say, this is the final. In fact, what we're going to do is I'm going to zoom all the way over now to the Champions League final to see if Arsenal actually won it. Because I'm very intrigued to see and I want you guys to see as well uh, if, if they won. Uh, but as I say, I'm going to start looking at other jobs. I'm not just going to take one because, you know, I go because of fancy or something or you know just just for the hell of it i want to take it so that it, it, it it's going to be a good youtube series it's going to be enjoyable to play and hopefully it won't be boring is what i'm going to look out for here now macaroni is actually one manager of the year i voted for him and considering he got palermo up to fourth who what were their let's see how do i find that let's see their media prediction was 18th oh my god they were expected to be relegated and they finished fourth holy shit yeah, this guy will probably end up with Juventus, no doubt, next season. So there we go. Um, yeah, let's see if we can fast forward then to the Champions League final. I might have to edit this one, or the game might just go straight across. Let's see. So what? Have we got? Oh, we've also got the European Championship. This is, of course, the Euro 2020, which is... Um, let's see who's been called up. We've got Mangala, Baumgartel, Calabria, the Sigler, Bonaventura, Blind, and Mania. Uh, this is of course going to be the European Championships where it's going to take place across Europe, not just in one city or in one country. Really, you know, they've got 2016 in France. This one's going to take place continent-wide. Let's see, just out of curiosity, what's it saying? Wales and Germany, Belgium, Armenia, in the standout group there. Italy, Northern Ireland, Spain, and Ukraine. There's the Austria, Ireland, Portugal, Turkey. There's the hipster group. Greece, Israel, Poland, and Switzerland. That is a tragic group for Group A. Goodness me. No England are noticed. England aren't, innit? Oh, yeah, by the way, Tim Sherwood's the England manager. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even joking. He got hired. Uh, they, they had Ronald Koeman, and he was sacked because he failed to qualify. I think they lost out on a playoff, I believe. But uh, let's see. Bayern versus Arsenal. Here we are. No editing required. How are they going to get on? Bayern, oh, so harsh. Lewandowski in the 90th minute. That may, in fact, be extra time. Let's have a look here. No, it's the 89th minute. Oh, the goalkeeper. Look at that again. Oh, goodness me. Imagine if this was you on Football Manager. Imagine if you were Arsenal. Oh, no. <laughs> feel sorry for them. I shouldn't do. Look at that, goodness me, that's a lot of money. So the biggest overachievers were Cherno Morvana. What? That's not a, that's not a name. That's not a team. Where are they from? Bulgaria. Oh, they're not. That's not real. <laughs> anyway, so that really is now the end of the season. Um, do look out for a video then in the next few days if a new episode of the Milan series continues. Uh, that, if, if, sorry, I'll start that one again. If a new video with Milan 
gets uploaded. The series is going to continue at least for probably another season, at the very least half a season, but most likely a full season. If not, we have a new club. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to play on, see what happens. If you've enjoyed the video and if you've enjoyed the series, do give it a like. Uh, I do appreciate them. And other than that, I will see you next time. Goodbye.